Good morning. Welcome back to the show. It's your Friday edition of Summit Sunrise here on TV8 Summit, along with Jim Tillich of the Breckridge Fine Art Gallery and our special guest here, a resident artist of Bradley Chance Hayes. Good morning to you both, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, how are you doing here? Good. All right, good. And uh, first, let's start off, though, with the, the gallery here, Jim. Uh, tell us, what we, uh, like we always start off with our interviews, where are we located and uh, what can we find? In, the art in Breckenridge, right down the end of Main Street to where Main and uh, Park meet, 421 mm -hmm. South Main. Easy to find, uh, easy to get into, and we have had a lot of people in. It's been really enjoyable. Great, yeah, and it's a beautiful gallery, and again, you can see uh, artists that are there full-time around. Uh, do you rotate some artists a bit? Um, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, in other words, I like to have really good art on the wall, mm -hmm. rotate that a little bit, Great. and then have artists come and in have and paint so yeah. the public can kind of get involved. See mm -hmm. the process, watch how it's done. Yeah. In fact, that's what Bradley does. He'll paint right there in the gallery and he'll be doing that for the next two days. That sounds starting great. Starting today. Bradley, so uh, you've done this before though, uh, yeah. coming to the studio here in yeah. Breckenridge. And uh, so tell me what that experience is like. I had a real good show this uh, last summer mm -hmm. uh, and it was during the pro rodeos going on in Breck. And yeah. so it went, went real well and I just, I do, uh, like I'll have a large oil painting I'm working on live and a couple watercolors too. Let's talk about your work and also the, the history uh, about yourself because you grew up in Oklahoma. You are yes, a, you're a true cowboy because you're still, yeah. you're a professional uh, 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 rodeo yeah. uh, writer and, or what, what events do you Tied actually just roping? Tied and roping, yes. um, So it's where you ro where you're tied on hard and you jump mm -hmm. off. That's Flank, right. Flank and tie. Very impressive stuff. Yeah. I saw that yeah, the first time in a long time over at the Breckenridge Circuit, actually, over the summer. And yeah. I'm just looking at that going, wow. <laughs> like, I don't see myself lot, doing lot that. Of things like, going why did he just jump off that horse? A lot of yeah. things going on right <laughs> there. I mean, stuff, and yeah. So it's, it was and, a great deal. Mm -hmm. And you grew and, up doing that. You've been doing yep. that your whole life. And yeah. to, to really do it right, mm -hmm. you've got to grow up with it because it, sure. it is a job. Sure. It's a skill. It's strength. It's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And see, that's what makes it so unusual. Uh, Chance Hayes does painting in a way that is somewhat delicate, but he makes a powerful statement, and it's all based on the West. It's it really interesting does, to yeah. see. Yeah. It's a connection. It it's does make a powerful statement, and when you look at your pieces, most of the time I see uh, your works, uh, that you see this, just this pow of color yeah, in the strong, background. Yeah, the strong, strong emphasis and of, strong imagery mm -hmm. too. Like yeah, it, certainly. Uh, you know, like growing up in Oklahoma, like I have an affection obviously for a certainly. lot of the I, a lot of the things and items and mm -hmm. characters that make up the West. Uh, growing up, I was born in Tulsa. Um, so a lot of good music and art. Uh, mm -hmm. Two national art museums there, the Gilcrease and Philbrook. I grew up, you know, looking in a lot of you know, really, really super nice traveling collections. And then when I got my Master of Fine Arts degree and did my thesis, I did it over, you know, contemporary Western art, mm -hmm. um, compared it to, you know, traditional and then contemporary. And my art is a mixture of the two. Right, great. And I want to find out more about your process in uh, what creates something like that uh, that's on the screen here. But first, uh, when, there's no question where some of your inspiration is coming from because you're you're in that lifestyle. You yeah. are on horses. You are working with horses. You're in the rodeo uh, quite a bit. But uh, what got you into painting? Uh, my my mother uh, was a high school art teacher, mm -hmm. uh, and my dad is a was a pipeline welder and was real real talented guy. Uh, my mom, very talented, and then my dad always had horses and rodeoed. So, like, you know, I was kind of introduced to both. And then as I graduated high school and then continued to pursue my education, art still was the thing that I came back to the most. And my outlet was training horses yeah. and spending time outside. And a lot of times, indirectly, I use the light and color that I see not necessarily subjectively in the, you know, as in the sunset, but more right. abstractly in the, Certainly, the washes, yeah, you know, and well, the textures. And you bet. so like if I'm in New Mexico going to the rodeo in Santa Fe and like those colors speak to me or Scottsdale, Arizona, like I'm definitely gonna like mix that, use that palette, you yeah. know, be a part of that for, mm -hmm. for, a, for a series of paintings. And then I'll kind of move on to, you know, another palette uh, from something that I see that influences me. But that's what I love it up here, too, is, you know, I'm a year-round guy up here now and have been for yeah. a while, and I love 
the color and light. It's colorful here. Colorado. Yeah. And, <laughs> There's a, depending oh, yeah. on what time of the season and where you are, you're oh, going to yeah. see a lot and of See, that makes it uh, quite organic, if you will. Yeah. Because he's painting the colors he sees, mm -hmm. that he feels. And when you look at some of his horse paintings, you know that he loves horses. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Got right. the form. He, he gives them a natural elegance and beauty, yeah. but he keeps that power. And that's what keeps people looking at his art. They say, mm -hmm. man, that is a real strong piece. What are mostly the, the mediums you work with? Uh, I use like watercolor and silk dye okay. uh, and inks uh, for my works on paper. Mm -hmm. And then I use an alkyd oil base for my oil paintings on my canvases. So you do use several different. Yeah, I paint. mean, I basically stay within two that I'm, okay. you know, that I was trained yeah. in and apprenticed under, uh, and that's what I've enjoyed the most. Mm -hmm. I have ventured off and doing sculpture, other paintings, but for the most part, like I, I feel like I need to continue to grow and continue to paint you know, kind of what I'm doing right yeah. now. So tell us I'm about right the, the demonstration where we can see this weekend. Uh, what Just, kind of I'll of have like a, a six foot oil painting, like I said earlier. I'll six foot? Yeah, it's a it's big, big piece. It's a um, big piece. And then I'll have some watercolors I work flat on, obviously, because I mm -hmm. use, you know, I mean, a lot of, it's a wet media. So it's, right. so it'll be a couple different things and I'll just be kind of going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I do it in my studio too. Like if, I get, I wouldn't use the word bored ever because I never am with art, but what I'm saying is like if you reach a point with a painting and you're not really getting the results, mm -hmm. like okay. I just, what I call give it a break, yeah. you know, it might sit on the easel for a couple of days while I work on two others. So I, I've got like in it, different yeah. medias yeah. too, or <laughs> mediums, because I might get wore out, like or I'm uh -huh. not saying wore out, but it just like if I'm working on a watercolor and I'm like, Man, I need to go outside, saddle some horses, yeah. let my mind take a break, I come back in and work on an oil. With that you know, fresh start yeah, and new just look a, on it, it's, yeah. And I feel like it's important, especially with watercolors, sure. because it's mm -hmm. the freshness that you're trying to capture. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you work it too much, then you you don't really have that that fresh pop. Yeah, yeah that spontaneity shows, even in, the, you're looking at the screen now a minute ago, the colors seem to flow out. They do. And yeah. they're giving you a real kind of a, a boost. Mm -hmm. I Sometimes I, I've i told people, I say to me, it looks like a cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah. Because you're waking up to you, what it's, cool, yeah. right. warm, mm -hmm. strong. Yeah. I, I love it. Very I love his work. Yeah, they are uh, some beautiful pieces of work that you you do, Chance. And uh, well, thank it's you. always great to see Appreciate them. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, and I've seen them hung in the gallery myself before plenty of times, and right. seen these examples though too, just to share with with. Come on down when you get a chance. So, yeah, tell me about the details on what uh, when someone can come down and see Chance at work. A chance will be painting probably pretty soon after two o'clock. By yeah, the time you get back. Okay. Uh, Mid-afternoon, and then the show actually starts at 4 o'clock, 4, 4 to 8. You'll okay. be painting that whole time, but mainly visiting people, painting a little, visiting more. We'll have, let's see, one, two, three full walls of his art, mm -hmm. quite a bit, plus a little more, so there's a lot to see. So people can come and kind of wander through and look at all these eight or nine pieces, and then get a feel for what he does. So again, 4 to 8. Today to and tomorrow. And tomorrow. Got to check it out. Again, the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery is located on the south end of Main Street in Breckenridge. Hard to miss when you're right there at the corner of Park and Main. Exactly. Uh, just look for that on. There's two different entrances and family friendly as well. Yes. All right. Well, uh, enjoy your time here in Breckenridge. Always a pleasure hey, to, uh, to have artists coming in here. And it's I a real pleasure to be here as well. Thank Jim, you. Good to see you as well. Yeah, nice seeing you too. I'm going to let you guys go here. We're going to continue on with the show. We're going to take a break first. And uh, don't forget, we still have my co host hanging out over at the Fresh Soap Company, actually right next door to the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. And uh, that's Scotty Bondo. And we'll see what kind of mischief he's getting into over there with Kim and the uh, soap company. So we're going to take a break. Be back with more. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Summer Sunrise on TV8 Summit. Thank you.